There's a lot of vulnerability being shown. Yeah, because I'm about to spoil him for the gods. Video mimi ningekuwa ninge suck at probably ni Sajo. Jumuik Jumuinas. Katika Soul Family kila Jumapili. Niache niache what's up everybody we are Saudi Soul. We bring you good news glad tidings Soul Family our new docu reality TV show. Is on my shamanic plus every Sunday. It's amazing. It's about us. It's about soul generation. You know what? Catch it every Sunday. My shamanic yes. plus. So family is a docu reality series that we have shot to give fans uh, a glance of how our business runs mm-hmm. and to bring them closer to our music and creative process and how we write. Why mm. we write how we write mm-hmm. now we talk about soul generation it's a generation of epic thinkers of young people of people who like think different about the society people who are innovative so we call it the soul generation so who are inspired by Nisha too like this is how we live look mommy i'm on tv these guys have been nominated for mamas in south africa the fight is born on all continents i free my best group Mama's best group, best group. Yeah. MTV award for best group in Africa. Everything is super soul. It's passion over everything. We did that purposely to just show people <coughs> what we are about, what it takes uh, for this business to 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 thrive, you know. And mm-hmm. even um, uh, talking about having cameras around us. I mean, we've we've been in the industry for so many years. So it's 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 a different thing though shooting a reality show because mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, having trying to be yourself and staying your true self with cameras around is not that easy but then after a few seconds you just forget yeah, that you forget that even there yeah. yeah overwhelming part for me is when um, not being used to yes we are used to cameras but literally having cameras everywhere even when you want to mm-hmm. just be yourself sometimes you find mm-hmm. like you just want to you just want to talk some shit or like then you realize either you have the microphone or the camera is behind you and you hadn't noticed so you know it's, it's just being made aware that because now you, you some at some points i guess getting you at your at those moments is what is key there's a lot of vulnerability being shown yeah, in this entire that we didn't even know it's not just about soul to soul it's about soul generation mm-hmm. so there's a lot of stuff maybe even 70% of the stuff that's being shot and then we watch we watch later or even watch with mm-hmm. the people mm-hmm. so there are many things that we didn't know about so we are also being mm-hmm. impacted the same way <laughs> I know too much about these guys already. I don't think there's anything you can do. But Ben Sol and Viri. But for Ben Sol and Viri, I've yeah, never seen Ben Sol's mom to be very yeah, honest. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, that, that was... Yeah, that makes you understand yeah, Viri's mom. Just how the kind of person he is. Mm. Or just how humble he is or how grounded someone like Ben Sol, even Viri is. And even just listening. Seeing the yeah. families, you know, it's, yeah, yeah. it's so emotional. And then also like just hearing how they fell in love with music. I, I, I saw on Viri's old like... A video. Videos of him playing guitar. Tonight. And that's really man he's always wanted it so bad <laughs> One day we were in I think Finland and we were on tour on tour and when we went to me and Delva were always watching content from home oh, so yeah, at that yeah. time we were watching Bim Bahad mm. yeah. and just generally we fell in love with the style of shooting how it was expressive mm. and how engaging it was and so like because we, we did meet a couple of production houses thinking of why would the best home for the show be i think Eugene is just the guy who really stood out mm. also we went to high school with Eugene Eugene was my neighbor in Rwesam to be in Tokyo eh yes are you I used to go to Eugene's house actually to copy assignments he was always good at his job he used to mm-hmm. copy you know like mm-hmm. how Eugene would do an assignment in production where he shot content mm-hmm. you know? mm-hmm. then he edit his mm-hmm. so what i do is i he take the left over the left over content and then i edit mine and then i hand over my name and then i Eugene hey Eugene is when i make this smoothie i usually take it at around noon because that's when i break my fast but sasa leo tutakunywa tu ikiwa tayari 
Oh, and it's already it's <laughs> nine. And we are hungry. <laughs> we. Oh yeah, I'm talking about this. So my wife is pregnant. We're expecting a, a bouncing baby. Just having a baby is something that is very magical. It's the kind of emotions that you have to be there to understand. When, when let's say, someone like someone who's close to us, like Nyash, when um, they're expecting a baby, he can tell you many things, but you can't really, you know, like feel exactly how he's feeling. Mm. So now that's what I'm feeling now. Because mm. I remember him calling me and telling me, my friend, when you hold that baby like this the first time, you don't even know. It's like you're in the mood, somewhere, just some weird place. So it's just a cocktail of anxiety, excitement, wow. um, fear sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, just everything, all, everything in one. Wow. Yeah, so you just have to also stay positive because there's mental health that goes into it as well. Mm -hmm. And there's postpartum depression that mm -hmm. comes with it. Yeah, so these are things wow. also that I'd like to talk okay. about even when once we become <laughs> and just say how I'm feeling, express and also help other dads or dads to be well, I've always thought uh, kids are a beautiful thing. I love Kulikap, I love Amanda, I think they're amazing people. Kulikap's children are my children. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we raise them. Um, the, what, 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 uh, what, the, what the child wants to eat, he'll eat in my house. He'll eat in Kulikap's house. Mm -hmm. The child will sleep in my house. Yeah. I don't know, man. I feel like I'm also being a dad. Mm -hmm. You know, whether he likes it or not. I'm going to be that child's quantum of solace. Like. Going to be that uncle no, he's, yeah. he's always going to be looking after because I'm about to spoil him <laughs> for the gods. <laughs> I am so happy for I'm happy for Polycap man because Polycap has always been that and I'm not sure if he's the first one to have a baby. He's always wanted a child since that 10, we know. since yeah. ten years ago. I mean, <laughs>